gonna share with you my favorite crossless quiche made with zucchini and you'll see they're just invisible so everyone will love that quiche at home even you tricky eaters so first what i'm gonna do i'm gonna chop off my onion and i'm gonna shave my zucchini and i'll show you how so i'm using my bangkok uh, sudoku knife it's so sharp but you get like a precise cut with that so this is very easy just gonna go like that just roughly anyway and you can see <laughs> look at that how sharp it is <laughs> the problem with knives it's sometimes you know they're sharp at the beginning when you start using them but after a while you know they go dull and they're not as sharp as before but I had this knife for a very long time now and honestly I had no problem at all put this to the side and I'm using my mixing bowl from Bangkok. I love it because it has a handle and it's very light, not heavy at all. So right here I have five um, eggs with a tablespoon of vegetable oil. And I'm gonna give it a little whisk here. There we go. We used to have that uh, whisk at Bangkok, but not anymore. Unfortunately, the supplier uh, can't bring it to the US. So I'm gonna add my onions. And you can use, you know, uh, brown onions or red onions, you know, whatever is your favorite. Right here. Great. I'll put that there. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that zucchini. I'm gonna use the petit grater. It's quite sharp, but it has big holes. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna go through it very quickly. The good thing with that is when you shave the vegetables, they don't appear as a big chunk in the quiche. So this is gonna be a fun thing. You know, if you have kids or grandkids, you can just tell them that you're making a Hulk um, lunch you know with the green or shrek lunch this is one of those things i'm sure that it will do when i started with bangkok i always wanted to have all their bowls and trays and today you're gonna see i'm gonna show you we're gonna do the quiche in my favorite mold which is the sunflower mold and as time passed by I realized they had the coolest accessories. All the accessories come from our branch in France, Guy de Mal. So they're all like French made, or actually I discovered they're like it Italian made. So you have the sharpest blades for the knives and you have the coolest accessories um, that you can have in your kitchen. So as you can see, this little thing is quite sturdy. It hasn't broken or anything since I have it. And I don't know if you can see how cute it's starting to look like. So, you know, I put five eggs and one onion, and I'm gonna put right now one large zucchini. I was not sure if I was gonna do one or maybe two, but I think one might just be enough because this is quite big. Um, and then I will add the pepper and the salt. There we go. I think, let's see how that looks like. Oh yeah, that's very nice. First, when I tried this recipe, I made it with spinach, but I have picky eaters at home and spinach was quite obvious what it was. <laughs> but the trick of the shaved zucchini never fails. Um, I already preheated the oven. The oven usually I put it, I used to put it at 350, but I think 375 is quite nice. Um, 
and then for about 25 minutes, 30 minutes, um, depending on your oven. The soft flower mold that I have today, if you know where it is, very cute. But the good thing about it, it's that it's fluted. It's fluted in 16 petals, like a sunflower. So when you make a quiche or when you bake a cake, you always know where to cut. You know, sometimes you're worried someone is gonna get a piece too big or a piece too small. Well, with that, you don't have a problem at all because everybody gets a fair piece. But remember, if I'm invited at your house and you bake or you cook something in your sunflower mold, the center better be mine. <laughs> Perfect. I'm very happy how this looks. So you see, I'm just scraping it with my heat resistant spatula. This spatula is amazing. I love it so much that I have many of it because it doesn't change color, it doesn't smell, it's really nice and I had it for quite some time. So right now, I'm gonna use my pepper. I always like to add the pepper and the salt in the end. So today I'm just going to do a simple Madagascar pepper. And this is the lavender salt. A little bit, just to give some flavors. And over here, I put uh, my Mexican grated cheese, but also added a little bit of goat cheese. Goat cheese is so smooth when you make a quiche. Look at this. And I'm just gonna give it a little stir, you see? That's why if you have, you know, anyone coming at the last minute or you don't know what to make, well, this is gonna be perfect. There we go. See? All right, now let me show you the sunflower mold. So all our molds, they have to be used on the perforated baking sheet, as you can see, because the heat just distributes evenly. Did you ever bake a cake with something and the center was not cooked? Well, I guarantee you, it's because you didn't have that baking sheet. And right here, I'm gonna pour my batter. And there you go. It fits beautifully. And that spatula, I thought it's really amazing because it cleans up the mold like this and it's very light. So now I'm just going to spread it over and as it's cooking, the onions also are going to caramelize and give it the beautiful shape of the sunflower. I'm gonna put it in the oven and I'll see you in a few minutes all right now the quiche is ready I put it at 375 uh, for about 25 minutes and then the last five minutes I put it on roast because I like the cheese to be crispy um, this has time to cool down always whenever you use our flexi pan uh, flexible bakeware uh, always let about 10 minutes to cool down uh, because this is going to be too hot. This comes right into room temperature, it's never a problem. But let me show you how they turn out. Do you see this beautiful quiche and how the beautiful edges around it all go to brown? So now this is where the fun part comes to. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to take my plate right over here and I'm going to hold the edges and there it is. Okay, and I can see already it popped out. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. You see? Still steamy. And look at this mold. Nothing sticks to a flexi pan, and that's the beauty for it. So now that my dinner is ready, <laughs> I think the family is going to be very excited. And for all our flexible bakeware um, and all the recipes, you can check it out on my website. It's bakingwithnessa.bonecook.com Have a good night!